Welcome to the biggest bowl contest of the year. The gladiators have entered the building and we're about to blow off the roof here at the Van Skate Park in Orange, California. My name's Neil Hendricks. I'm here with Chris Morocco on the bowl and my buddy Scott Taylor's up here with me in the booth. That's right, we couldn't be more happy to be here today. 12th annual Vans Pool Party here at the Block in Orange, California. We've got the home of the world famous Combi Bowl right behind us, Neil. Yeah, we're gonna talk about today's schedule because we have 126 grand we're about to give away. You see those people up in the stands. This is probably the toughest ticket in skateboarding. We're gonna have three semifinal heats and pro final and then eight o'clock awards. Under the judging criteria, we have five judges up here from World Cup Skateboarding. It's going to be zero to 100. The highest and lowest scores are dropped. Three remaining scores are averaged. Your best run counts. Worth noting that the tiebreaker is if the score is tied, the highest and lowest scores are added back in. That's right, and we're just seconds away from getting started here, folks. Pro <laughs> semifinals, heat number one. We got little man Asher Bradshaw from Los Angeles, California, 13 years old. Dalton Dern from Orlando. Max Jensen, originally from New Hampshire. Colin Graham. Clay Kreiner is going to blow some minds today. Kiko Francisco, Trey Wood, 16 years old from Arizona, and Alex Sorgente. Next in is going to be Clay Kreiner. Does Clay pull out the transfer now, or does he feel pretty confident on a... I think he's thinking that kickflip body burial five will get him where he wants to yeah, be. Yeah, good point. I forgot that he's got but multiple <laughs> big tricks. Look at that right out. there. Oh, the last thing I'd ever want to land a frontside air on is that peninsula. Oh, he's getting some speed. Yeah, that is but such a massive stale fish. Are you kidding me? Dude, when you watch Clay do his stale fishes, he holds them out there about two seconds longer than it feels like he should. And the gnarly thing about doing airs that high in the round is just Look at that, kickflip body burial five, yep. he made it. If that doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Yeah, I think Clay Kreiner's gonna be in the finals. He's got a couple he seconds does to go. Have to stay on. Take it easy, Clay. Wow, back tail, <laughs> and that is gonna there be you Clay go. Kreiner in the finals. Oh, the which crowd's means erupting. We got a little bit better chance of seeing the Grand Canyon transfer. That's right. It looks like Kiko Francisco now, the pressure's on him. You gotta remember who else is coming down the line after these guys. Yeah, when Some you of the look at even just that next heat with Bucky and Tom Shar, exactly. Alex Harrelson, all those guys. Oh! Look at that biggest backside wow. ollie we have seen all day. Yeah, Kiko, probably eight feet, maybe higher on that backside ollie, just glued to his feet. Decking out the front rock on the peninsula. Yep. Long board slide through the square corner. Nice frontside air disaster there. Back Smith into the corner. It's so funny how so that some of these tricks would have brought the house down 10 years ago and now they're just standard yeah, moves. They're just stock setup tricks and these guys yep. run like that. Just cap. a cap people <laughs> grind through the square corner, backflip through the square corner. Yeah, go are you kidding me? Those two tricks are so hard in this pool. Blunt slide into the deep, right into a back smith. It's like there's never a need to recover. Look at that run. Yeah, that was amazing. Is Kiko gonna be in the 90s now oh. also? He had an 89 before. Looking at our finals here, we've got Clay Kreiner sitting in first place, Kiko Francisco in second, followed by Asher Bradshaw, Colin Graham, and Trey Wood in fifth. And so Neil, how many of those guys do you think are gonna end up in the finals? That was uh, pretty stacked. We had seven of the eight skaters way up into the 80s. Clay Kreiner currently in first, Kiko Francisco in second, Asher Bradshaw in third, Colin Graham in fourth. I think those are the four guys that are gonna be battling to hold on to the top 10. They yeah. love the nose grind, grabbing front side in. Nice. Look at that, McTwist oh! on the peninsula. There's no guarantee. That's about a nine foot front side air. Yeah, they're getting what he wants, and this is so gnarly. Yeah. So, uh, any predictions from this heat? Oh, I think I've learned enough after 12 years of this not to predict anything. Yeah, but this guy right here, I don't know how many times his name's on the banner. Yeah, I'm looking over our shoulder right now. <laughs> I see one, two, three. He's got three Bucky Bowl titles. If anybody can just show up and do it, it's Bucky. I don't know if it's in his DNA or if it's just in bed in his muscle memory, but when he starts going backwards, weird things happen. When he starts going around the corners, it gets crazy. He turns 45 later this year. That's right. So think about that. Think about this guy could be in the Masters division yep. with Jed Fuller and Patch and those guys. <laughs> yeah. But he's battling with the teenagers well, 
who are the best in the world. Let's talk about incentive, Neil. I believe the first place for Masters is $4,000. I believe the first place for this one is $28,000. Oh, that makes sense. So, uh, <laughs> wow, switch, front, feeble, gate twist over yep. the hip. Again, he can put it together. He can put together lines that nobody else Gosh, could even that, imagine. I mean, switch, front, feeble through the round is, I mean, even the teenagers aren't yeah. doing that. Yep. All right, and there's Tom Shar and sitting just behind him, another happy guy. Hey, Chris Miller. this is crucial. 15th place right now. Yeah, he needs an 87 or better. And even then, there's no guarantee. Yeah, I but. feel like Tom Shar could make it through to in the top 10 without his best Ooh. run. What was he doing right there? It looked I like think he was he signaling was, the filmer Yeah, I think he was telling up. the cameraman to back up. Wow, as if focusing on your skateboard isn't enough. Yeah, no kidding. But you can see Tom just skates like a man now. Wow, he gets, there's he's the kickflip Indy. He gets good pumps, he lands everything good, never struggles to get, uh, get enough speed, and he goes big. And look at that right there. That might be the hardest trick in that Gosh. whole line. Oh, Back tail front is feet. foot. Front foot was sliding off completely in the wrong spot. Front feeble with a couple seconds to go. Back tail, one more trick, and I think he's going to be uh, wow. a shoe-in. That is clutch oh. right there. Tom Shar feeling good right now. Man, I was sweating for him. I was too. Just watching practice the last few days, this is a guy that could contend for the win. Well, let's take a look at the current standings, Neil. Yeah, Clay Kreiner still in the lead. This is Heat one and two combined. Kiko Francisco, Tom Shar, Bucky Lassick, Asher Bradshaw, Iago. We've got a Brazilian in the top six. Colin Graham in seventh. Heimana in eighth. Trey Wood and Alex Sorgente. But right now, Haimana Reynolds getting hyped as well. Look yeah, at that Smith love grind. That stylish tail grab on the yeah. Smith grind. Back, speedy back lip through the round. Oh, look at that right there. That, it's so gnarly. I cannot tell you how impossible <laughs> that is. About eight skaters left to go. So the guys, you know, probably, like we've been saying the whole time, from Colin Graham on down, are going to have to sweat out one more heat. Chris Russell, another guy who's got all the pressure on this run yeah, right here. Pressure is on. We've seen this guy almost win this contest before. He's not even close to being in the finals right now. Nope. This is pressure. Chris Russell is in 22nd yeah. place right now. He needs an amazing run. No falls, gnarly tricks like that. Can he stay on for 40 seconds? Oh, traveling that alley-oop eggplant. Let's see what he's got here. There's a front side air over the corner of the peninsula, making his way up to another 5-0. I'm not seeing. Oh, there's the bonus wow. reaver. Yeah, Jets that's what that we one. needed to see. Yep, He's I think he needs one more big banger to really still cement got it. 10 seconds to go. It's still going to be gnarly to break into the top 10. There we go, slob Texas plant, plant disaster. Yeah. Yep, you're right, slob plant. One footed <laughs> wow. wow, is that going to be enough? Oh, Bob Berkowitz think thinks so. so. I think the judges do right too. Right now, Trey we'll Wood is on the bubble with an 86.33. Is it going to be Trey Wood? Nope, it's Chris Russell, 89. Hit the showers, Trey wow. Wood. Oh, we still, still got, got Corey Janot. Yeah, <laughs> we last. still got one guy. Corey Janot is in 16th place. Right. Don't celebrate for him yet. Hey, I'm going to celebrate for Colin Graham. How about that? He's yeah. got to be stoked. And, and Iago. So, Corey Janot in the bowl right now. Again, Corey, you don't have to win the contest. Just make the finals. Oh, just we want to see Corey just in make the finals. The finals. I, I feel bad because I want to see Heymana in the finals too. Yeah. But Corey has been someone that he has just been dominating these practice sessions the last few days. I got to agree that Corey's just got a deeper bag. Not the, again, Heymana's amazing. So we'll see if Corey can do it. He's staying on so far. Oh, looking good. Man, he looked hangy on that. That, that angle. Is he going to do the front side flip? No, front I feeble. think he's going to hold back, but we'll see. Hey, that is really smart contest skating right there. Corey Gino didn't do the nose blunt slide, didn't do the front side flip. Is it going to be enough? Hopefully we see that stuff in the finals, but he had to go a little bit safe yeah. just to make it in. 
I'm not a judge, but in my book, that's uh, that's that earned him a spot. Yeah, right you there. compare that. Yep, fifth yeah. place, 88.67. Wow. If the showers, hey, Mana. Yep. I was sweating for both Corey Juno and Chris Russell, but they were able to put it together. These are the 10 skaters we're going to see in the finals. Yep. But want to give a quick shout out to those guys that just barely missed the final. Willie Lara from Moore Park, California. Who does a front nose blunt in the square pool with no pads? Look at that right there. That's what I'm talking totally about. Totally flipped upside down. Yep. And there's starting off with the alley oop. At frontside air over the hip. That is uh, remnants of the pops for sure. Be in the conversation. Look at this. Is he going to fake here? Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. Saw that one in qualifier wow. and my jaw dropped. Yeah, Look this, at this combo. This place erupted after his run in qualifier. There's that back oh, smith. Oh, that was one of the best corner tricks we've seen. Yeah. Back to back, super solid combo. I am so freaking yep. excited. This do is this. the pro final. Let's do this. These dudes get three runs. Look how small Asher Bradshaw. Sorry, they get four runs. Look at that. He's like a little kid. He's in the freaking pro final. And so we got Asher Bradshaw in here right now, 13 years old. And check out the style in that backside air as he blasts his way into the round. Man, I was impressed with Asher's lip tricks through the corner in the semis. I, I know he's got the spins, mm -hmm. he's got the 540 variations, he's got the sevens, but I was impressed with the nose grind lip slide through the corner. Totally. Yeah, any, any of those sort of combo tricks are, are a rarity. And there's the 720 right there. I love watching him set up the yeah, spin. That's insane. He just does this crazy hand movement. Yeah, see if he's going to do the nose grind lip slide right here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just slapping a quick decker a after disaster. the disaster. And a little alley-oop eggplant. Little baby egg. <laughs> That's a baby egg. He'll yeah. grow up. Blood slide around the corner. He'll grow so. up into a full-size eggplant. That's right. It'll look like Ben Schroeder someday. Wow, what a run for Asher. Super psyched for that little man right there, putting it together. Oh, <laughs> so we'll get Kiko Francisco in here next. Check out Kiko. I love it, man. Always throwing the <laughs> horns to. For sure. Yeah, I think that helps him, adds a little Dude, speed to that lip slide. That lip slide is insane. That is so far to not just explode. Look and look at that, that backside. It's just like a big kick turn. Yeah. Without, big alley -oop backside looks ollie. looks like his feet move on that backside ollie. It makes no sense. So Kiko, front feeble into the square. We saw that one footed Japan air. And uh, there's a little like, front side air disaster. Yeah, Kiko can blast. There's a Krail disaster. That's kind of cool. A little mix up. And Kiko, oh, back Smith over the peninsula. Not easy to get to that piece of coping right there. Couple seconds to go. Yep. Last couple tricks. Sick run Probably for Kiko. Probably one more here in the square. That's going to yep. be time. Solid run yeah. for Kiko. He was in 10th place at the bottom of the barrel. All right, so our next rider, get Clay Kreiner back in here for his next run. This is going to be his second run right here. And we saw him go down on the kickflip body barrier uh, five, so maybe he'll try to yeah, do that he's again. he's got it, this run. Look at that. Stand up 5-0 through half the bowl. Yeah. That's a lot of blocks of coping. Popping in on the Smith grind into the tricky shallow end. All right, so there's going to be the big stale right there. Oh gosh, get Super that styled photo. out. Every photographer in the <laughs> joint got that photo. All right, so now he's going to make his way over and probably go for that kickflip body burial. Boom. Oh, oh he made that. it. Kickflip body burial, 540. Are you kidding me? <laughs> in his run in the Vans pool party? Yeah, but he's got a 722. We'll see if he even breaks that one out. But even that fakie frontside grind over the hip is gnarly. Wow. And that's going to do it. So Clay got the run he wanted out of the way. Where does that stack up to Tom Shar? Tom Shar already has an 89.67 on the board. Ooh, I, I, I got him ahead of Kiko. I don't know if I got him ahead of Tom. I mean, he did a kickflip 540. Check it out, second Let's place, out. Clay Kreiner, same score. Oh, Tom wins tied. the tiebreaker. Tom Shar first, Clay Kreiner second. So we got Chris Russell in here right now. Chris has had uh, two runs. So he's gone on his third run right now. I'd love the start of that run, man. Straight out of Omar's handbook right there. Yeah. <laughs> that fake Lip slide reaver into yep. a rewind 50-50. Yep. I think that might be, that might have been one of Omar's lines. Yeah, so nice. Exploding skateboards all over the place. Yeah. I heard Look at Chris this. has oh. gnarly tricks in the new creature video. I haven't seen it oh, yet. Oh, yeah. Gonna, gonna check to it, it this week. 
See, you hear that, Nabs? If you'd send us a copy, we could be talking yeah, about it man. right now. Nabs, send us a copy, man. <laughs> Creature, we could have been talking about the video this whole broadcast. Oh, look at that hip hop with no uh, channel to jump over. Yeah, it's still a 50 reaver. Yeah, Russell That's going to be run. time. Russell is going to be bumped up. One footed Egger. Oh. And a sweeper to death. That was a yes. sick run. Look at the crowd, man. Everyone loves Chris Russell, the sledgehammer from the South Bay. Yeah, full pull for Russell is always fun to watch. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure it puts him in the same league as uh, Clay or Tom, but it definitely third gets the crowd place. psyched. He's yeah. on the podium. He's been on the podium before, 88.67. Yep. So right now it's Tom Shar, Clay Kreiner, Chris Russell. So Tom Shard's in there right now. Russell stoked. Look at Tom just wow. taking it up a notch with what could only be like an, it had to be like an eight foot five. Look Did at that front side that ollie. Front side ollie on the peninsula. Insane. Every one of Tom Shard's runs has been better and better. Yeah, he's not, he's definitely notching it up. There's a kickflip burial. It's funny, just you know, body that, burial five. that Tom won this contest a couple years ago because he's so much better now. I know. <laughs> it's insane that, now, earlier, I saw a couple days ago, Tom going from the peninsula over kind of right. the, the gap into the shallow. Yes, There's that no comply tail, tail slide. slide. Hold yeah. that one for the replay for sure. Now, this could be the run that puts Tom yeah. in a comfortable first place hey. spot right here. Look at that. If oh. that's not a 90, I quit, man. <laughs> that had better be. Hey, judges, I, I think that's I'm in seeing. the 90s for sure. I'm guessing 92. Gosh, straight that, up. And I'd accept the 93 or 94. That because is the best run I've seen in any of the qualifying rounds. Any, anything. 91.67. There you go. I don't have to quit. The judges yeah, You listen. can keep your job. Nice. Looks <laughs> like we got Colin Graham coming out of Virginia Beach, keeping the pitchfork alive. 20 years old, just a power skater. Colin's one of the funnest guys to watch. He's got great style. And uh, rocking the embassy logo. With wow. a nice front side nose grind, How currently he, sitting in ninth place. How does he make those nose grinds? They look oh, like his weight awesome. is so over his front foot. Unfortunately, Colin's sitting on a 78.33, and he needs a 91.7 to take the lead. So, you know, Colin's hoping for podium spot right now, and hey, he's, he's ahead of having Bucky. a good run. Yeah, that's a good point. Bucky Lassen currently sitting in tenth. And look at the alley oop 50-50. That's a great trick. Yeah, this is Colin's best run so far for here sure. in the finals. For sure, another couple years for Colin to really develop some. Oh, that one right there! Wow. The uh, the stale fish El Garial is one of the sickest things that ever. That is so rad. <laughs> nice. Just as I I've was seen about him to say. do that a couple times on vert ramps. I've never seen him do it here in the combi pool. All right, so Yago back to the roll in Steez. Looks like his board is backwards, and uh, that probably means we're going to see that fakie board slide fakie. And there it is. All right, so Yago, he's got a bunch of tricks. I'd really like to see kind of, just see him skate the ball and yeah, see him focus. Look at I that love that style uh, on that, that tail grab. Backwards Smith that he did in the round. Oh yeah, earlier. and then even that front side feeble. I mean, that was like six blocks into the corner. A nice little front side air, hopping against the 540. Nice alley oop tail grab. That's super sick right there. That is such a tricky spot to do an alley oop tail grab. Oh, you just you get no look at the landing at all. And uh, there's that fake Smith. Does that really well. So Yago kickflip Indy into oh, the shallow. Man. That was with two seconds to go. All right, Bucky. Everybody wants to see you make this line. So do us a favor and show he's, us uh, what it looks like. So he's mixing it up. No heel flip front side air. Wow. Going back to the stale. There yes. it is. Not quite over the peninsula, but still hey, a lot further awesome. than uh, anybody else is going. He's in 10th place right now. If anyone can go from the outhouse to the penthouse, That's right. it's Bucky Lassick. Yep, throws in a McTwist. And let's see where he's going. Not a lot of speed, but he can get it back. There, he looks like he's going to go back to that air to Fakie. Whoa, and the switch backside air. Nope, nope. Good, good buddy. buddy. All right, so Bucky, jump sweeper. And. Just a few seconds left. Nice tweaked out, stinky frontside invert. Smith, Bucky just saying, you know what, just give me a full pull. Yeah, and I'll come back. I'll do. Oh, there was a switch feeble right there you missed. But that's a pretty darn good run. 
high five from Corey Janot and pretty much everybody on the deck. Uh, Bucky's got their respect in one form or another. Bucky now sitting in fifth place, just behind Kiko Francisco, Chris Russell in third, Clay Kreiner in second, and Tom Scharr with a pretty solid hold on first place right now. But this kid, Tristan Rennie, could change all of that. Yeah, look, look at that. Alley. Oh. Backside air landing in the bottom. But still, didn't slow him down a bit. Tristan and, knows. Yeah, Tristan's got the eye of the tiger right Ooh. now. Tail grab, nose bonk, didn't bonk. Sketchy place to do that trick. Yeah, can't wait to see him do that. Nose grind through the corner in the air disaster. Yep. Tristan has had great runs every run, but just fallen at crucial times God. right at the end. He made that five, yeah, even under-rotated a little bit. Did it on a different wall. Just shows his flexibility and versatility in the bowl. Yeah, look at this run, man. This could be top three for sure. Yeah, alley up in the air into the, over the hip. He's gonna need something big. Yeah. Something really kind of leave a mark. That nose grind would have been great. Blunt fake, he ain't gonna do Gosh, it. Gosh, what? But still a great run. I, I love that all of his runs, he just did different lines, different tricks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Most guys might work out two or three runs that they can mix up, but Tristan can just go Bump, wherever he needs bumped to. Bumped all the way up to fourth, 88.0. Yeah. Bucky down to sixth. All right, Corey Janot, again, this is his last run of the night. Look at that front side ollie over the hip. Like I said, everybody was betting their money on Corey. There it is! Wow! Whoa. He needed to do it at the beginning of his run when yep. his legs were fresh, but yep. he's got to stay on for 40 seconds. That's, That's the gnarliest combination we've seen all day. Do you think he'll go for the nose blunt? He's got a great nose blunt slide in that round bowl. Look I at that. Straight up front side invert. He's still got yep. about 12 seconds to go. Front board slide through the corner. All right, he's making his way back to the round. Is that alley -oop front side airs? He got. He's gonna go for a five, or just try to hang on and post a good score. Wow, and that's gonna be tail. it. Right what there. a run for Corey yeah. Janot. Corey Janot, you know, he it. totally switched his lineup. He had to do the really hard tricks at the beginning when his legs were still fresh. So we are down to our final rider this of the it. night. It's all gonna come down to if. And Clay, it could happen right here. If Let's he see. can make the Grand Canyon jump in his run. He's going for it right here. Boom! Oh, he oh, went for it! Oh, oh no! Gosh. If he'd started off his run like that and managed to get the kickflip five, who knows what would have happened. But wow. Unfortunately, they'll probably give him a rebate. Hopefully, we'll get to see it. That you know. is the contest. Tom yep, Shar that's right, folks. wins again. Corey Juno second and first time pool party. What's Yago trying? Is he going to try the Grand Canyon also? Maybe. You gotta be kidding me. Says, can I have a stab at it, Clay? What? Oh, he stale tried fish. to stale fish the Grand Canyon. <laughs> we got two guys yeah. in their first pool party ever. That's pretty awesome. Hey, production crew, we gotta stay on this. Yeah. We're not going anywhere. Give us another few minutes. Heel flip Clay. front side air. Oh, gosh. How does that heel flip He's, not just rip the board away from you? He said, someone else is trying it? Okay, I'll yeah. heel flip it. Yep. The contest is over. Tom Shar won. Corey yeah. Juno second. Clay Kreiner third. We still want to see these guys try this, if they're still going to try it. That's right. We've We're seen, not done yet. We've seen some special moments go down after time when Pedro, Pedro Barros jumped the entire hip and Matt Boyster. Kind of a similar thing here with yeah. two guys trying it. Yep. The only difference is we've actually seen Josh do it. But look at that. Oh. You there mean is, Clay? Excuse we me, Clay, think? yeah. But, uh, but we haven't seen him do it tonight, and I haven't seen him do it live, so. All right, we're gonna take it down to the deck. Chris Narocco is with our winner, Tom Shar. Oh, and oh, maybe yeah, one last try. Congratulations, Tom. Oh. <laughs> C congratulations. We on? Hey, that's me. Is that you? That's us. Congratulations, Tom. Second time winning this thing. How are you feeling right now? Uh, pretty good, I'm really stoked. Thanks, uh, yeah, that was a crazy contest. Uh, everyone really killed it. It was a lot of fun. How's it compared to 2015? Uh, it feels the same still. I'm just still really stoked about it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm really happy. <laughs> Corey was coming in hot up the rear. Were you getting nervous for a second? I thought he was going to beat me with his run. I was surprised he didn't get a higher score. But uh, yeah, he was killing it. Everyone was killing it. Congratulations again, buddy. Back to you guys up in the booth.
All right, congratulations, Tom Shar. We're going to run you through the final results right now, then go for a full award ceremony. But <laughs> second time Tom Shar has won this. You already see his name on one of the banners behind us. And Corey Juno, man, it was so close. Yeah, Corey didn't get to show everybody what that nose blunt slide looked like. And had he, it might have been a different story. Yeah, I but feel like Corey had a couple more tricks he could have thrown in there. Like you said, that nose blunt slide. But Tom Shar comes out on top, 91.67. Corey Juno, 90.67. Clay Kreiner, Chris Russell, Tristan Rennie, Kiko, Bucky Lassick, Colin Graham, Asher Bradshaw, and Iago. All right, we're gonna toss it down to the awards. Take it away, boys. Let's hear it for 2017 pool party champions. Make some noise for these guys. That's a wrap for 2017. Congratulations, Tom Shar, number one. Corey Janot, number two. Clay Carney, number three. Yeah, uh, thanks to everyone that came out. Uh, you guys fucking rule. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. Let's have a top shot, your champion.